So the first activity that we were in today was in a sixth grade classroom um, with Mrs. Commissar, a sixth grade teacher, and the students uh, were working with a programming language called Scratch. It's a visual programming platform. And the goal of the activity was for students to summarize a scene from a book that they'd read recently, and then to actually animate that scene using programming. In total, they'll probably end up being about 30 seconds. <laughs> so it's a lot, of, um, a lot of programming work and a lot of thought that goes into sort of a short end product. But it's so cool to, uh, within Scratch, you can click on a button to see the programming that the students have done, see inside and see all the different blocks and things they use to program. And it's so cool, all of the different components that they put together to really make that animation flow. Our end goal is to have them share it on our, we have a class studio in Scratch so that they can view each other's projects. With the first graders, um, that was Mrs. Cavan's class, first grade teacher, and they were working on a holiday card. This is a part of a website holiday exchange. It's a global project where the teachers can select who they want to exchange with, what countries they want to exchange with. This year it's between the U.S. and Canada. Students were encouraged to think about a holiday that they celebrate in the winter. All of the different classes around the world are focusing around holiday lights. And so the students then were depicting a picture of any scene from their own lives that had some holiday lights. And they wrote up some facts about their school, their class, and then they're going to share those. We print them out and we actually mail them. What we have found is that younger students are really proficient and pick up really quickly on iPads. And it takes them a little longer to pick up on some of the nuances of using a computer, a laptop or a desktop. And so this was not certainly not their first time in the computer lab, but it was not, uh, they're not as comfortable with the computers as they are with the iPads. So uh, what we try to do is we try to give students an exposure to a, technology on various different platforms. In second grade, they do a few more projects with the computer labs and, and typing and saving things through uh, different programs. So we try to really be thoughtful about the, the exposures we give kids and where that's gonna lead so that it builds on uh, some skills to prepare them for the next year. In third grade, that was Mrs. Patterson's class. Um, they were in math and they were using an iPad app called Show Me which is a, an app that you can use to create video, tu video tutorials or screencasts, and it records not only your voice, but then anything you're doing on the screen of the iPad. The students were using it to explain the process they used to solve a math problem. Today it was all about different coin combinations to get to 71 cents because they're just as aware as, as their classmates that, hey, when this is done, this is posted to our class account. Anybody can go on and watch it then. I can share it with my family or you know other students here can watch it. So they're really, they take ownership of their learning because they know that it's an authentic audience that they're sharing with. And they say, hey, other kids might watch this who are having trouble and this might help them learn. So they get kind of excited about that idea too.